to the live pop up out here media mobbing at the IGN festival in Miami over town and I'm popping up on the one the only Romeo Miller I don't know when he dropped the look in front of it so when did you do that when you dropped the look I mean when I grew to be this tall you know <laughs> I was probably figuring when you had your first high break you like normal man now yeah you know, I don't mind it you know that's a part of my career and who I am mm -hmm. so you know, little Romeo definitely an amazing chapter it's Romeo Miller now. Romeo Miller now. Yeah. Big Romeo. That's the, the full name. All right. So I know everybody asks you, you know, what does the iGen Festival um, mean to you? But yeah. what does it really mean to you? Give me yeah. the inside. I mean, if I'm being too honest, I was supposed to be at a funeral right now. So me being here, it's very important for me to be here for these kids. You know? um, oh, wow. You got to empower the youth. You do. One thing I learned is you got to support the people who's doing what's right. You know, Elijah Wells, you know. One of the, I feel the next big director, the next Spike Lee. I okay. Feel the more successful he is, that's how we make a bigger impact on our youth. Because they have a lot of people you can make successful and go support, but they don't give back. Elijah Wells and what they're doing with the IGN Film Festival, that's why I come here. Because the only way to make a difference, you got to get the right mentorship for these kids. You got to educate the kids. And that's what they do over at IGN. So I'm going to be here until I'm about 173 at IGN Film Festival. You know what? I never heard nothing more better. Like, not, like dead serious. Like, usually when people, you know, they come, they play their part. But yeah. it seemed like, you know, you're standing here with all sincerity. Yeah. But uh, what the people don't know, I'm like, hold on. As much as a rap star that you are, I have to pull out the phone with the list. You know, you were in so many movies. Yeah. Like, did you feel like you get the? Did you got the role because of who you are? Did you get it? Did you really yeah. study? the role did you embody the characters yeah so i'll tell you a little secret there's a lot of kids with successful parents in this industry mm -hmm. and they haven't starred in over 150 movies themselves they haven't put in 150 thousand hours wait 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 so listen yeah, listen listen he put in 10 thousand hours so you know how that no, makes him put in 19, no, no, 19, 19 times ten thousand hours but they say so, that there's, you know how people love to say you a jack of all trades a master at none but you're yeah. only a master if you put in ten thousand yeah. hours but he put in more than ten thousand yeah, hours done that i mean look, look at the films <laughs> look at look at the films yeah. i'm like oh my god it's like it's not normal like it, some people get five films they get 10 they get maybe 20 if they're lucky and have a hall of fame career i've done over 150 so I know God for me, I like to study David in the Bible where, mm. you know, he had a successful family and he even became more successful than that, even though people couldn't see it. But that's because he was always preparing. And I, mm. I feel God put me in a position to prepare for what's to really come. I don't think I've reached my best yet. I got a lot of amazing more things coming. And all those 150 plus were just practice for me, if I'm being honest. That was practice. Those are a lot of movies. <laughs> like... What was and your you don't, and you don't get that given to you? So my no, was no. Saying, I don't care who your parents are. If you're doing something over fifty times, over hold twenty on, times, hold on. people respect what you're doing. They do now. Hold on now. We're not gonna stand here like you're not handsome. We're not gonna stand here like he's not talented. He's not you know, <laughs> be able to interview and be prepared, and that's what people don't get to see. They only see mm. the end result. They see the success. You know how hard it is just to be right here and do your job. I'm trying to tell you. So. So That's the late, to the, the, thank you. The late nights, the long yeah. days, Just you know, remembering your scripts and stuff like that. Who is one of your um, favorite filmmakers, best writers, and besides yourself being your own favorite yeah. actor, who else? <laughs> nah, it's, it's very easy. Um, if you look at my career and everything really deeply, I try to mirror Denzel Washington. He's been in Walk of Life. I went to school with his kids. Shout out to Malcolm Washington, to John. But, uh, Seeing uh, Denzel and how he did it, he actually, um, he put the craft first. Ooh. He never did it for the fame. There's a lot of people out there who wants to be the biggest star, want to be the biggest movie star. Denzel loved what he does, and the blessings come from doing that. So I have to say Denzel is who I look up to. Top nine. And he's actually one of the ones I could say with a lot of confidence that he's one of the good ones in this industry. You know, you could support a lot of people, and they could be talented, but then you're going to find out some craziness. 10 years later, you know, some skeletons in the closet. Denzel is all around. He's a, an amazing role model. As well as you. You're very well spoken. It's such an honor to stand here next to you. You're you're amazing times 10. Like, Thank seriously, you. like to see you on, you know, videos, to see you on camera and then to experience you in person. 
I'm honored. I'm Tiffany National Live Pop Up, and this is Romeo Miller at the iGen Festival in Miami and Overtown. We're about to run. We're about yes. to get inside. Let's go. <laughs>